This is Goody Reader News with Michael Kozlowski. Big news. The future of e-readers is here now. Freescale has just announced IMX7. There's two processors, a single core 800 megahertz processor and a dual core one gigahertz processor. Now it's the it's the dual core processor that's gonna be powering e-readers for the next five years. So you can expect new models from Kobo, Amazon, Barnes Noble, and a slew of European companies. Here are the big things that I have going for it. It has support for Regal and it handles it in an entirely different way. A Regal waveform is really what powers e-readers and it allows for this technology basically is page turns, refresh rates, the elimination of ghosting and so on. So this new chip will be able to handle animated page turns for the first time as well as if e-ink releases any subsequent upgrade to Regal, this new Freescale architecture will be able to handle it. Freescale told me in an interview that they actually worked hand in hand with E-Ink to develop this new processor framework to really power the next generation of e-readers. So what's the e-reader of the future going to look like? Well, first of all, page turns are going to be a thing of the past. Whenever you turn a page in an ebook, there's a small but noticeable flicker. And every chapter or every six pages, there's a full page refresh. Now this refreshing will be a thing of the past as well as ghosting will be a thing of the past. When you turn so many pages and text starts to superimpose itself on each other, that will be gone. What I'm excited about is animated page turns. You know that if you have a tablet or smartphone and if you use an e-reading app, sometimes you can peek what's on the next page there's cool animations when you're turning a page but unfortunately a lot of the current generation Android e-readers they can't really handle animations that well but that's all gonna change once more devices start using IMX7 you'll be able to peek you'll be able to use the uh, apps that were developed for smartphones and tablets on your dedicated e-reader e device now this is only really applicable to uh, European Russia and Chinese companies that are pumping these devices out to companies like pocket Book, Icarus, Onyx, etc. Battery life is also going to be dramatically uh, increased with this new architecture. Companies will now be able to actually put smaller batteries in their e-reader, making them lighter, making them thinner, but you'll actually get longer battery life because of the way that the new architecture actually handles power. So I'm a, a huge fan of this and I think that Mass production is going to start in November, which means that we might actually see a new e-reader by the end of the year that has a dual core processor and really takes high resolution e-reading to the next level. For more details on this Freescale technology, click on the link in the description of this video. For Goody Reader News, my name is Michael.